Hello, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your March the 18th just for today in a meditation. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. It is entitled The Full Message. There's a special feeling for addicts when they discover that there are other people who share their difficulties, past and present taken from the basic text pages 55 through 56. The wealth of our recovery is too good to keep to ourselves. Some of us believe that when we talk in meetings, we should remember the newcomer and always try and carry a positive message. But sometimes the most positive message we can carry is that we are going through difficult times in our recovery and are staying clean in spite of them. Yes, it's gratifying to send out a strong message of hope to our newer members. After all, no one likes a whiner. But distressing things happen, and life on life's terms can send shockwaves even through the recovery of longtime members of Narcotics Anonymous. If we are equipped with the tools of the program, we can walk through such turmoil and stay clean to tell the tale. Recovery doesn't happen all at once. It is an ongoing process, sometimes a struggle. When we dilute the fullness of our message by neglecting to share about the tough times we may walk through on our journey, excuse me, we fail to allow newcomers the chance to see that they too can stay clean no matter what. If we share the full message of our recovery, we may not know who benefits, but we can be sure someone will. Just for today, I will honestly share both the good times and the difficult times of my recovery. I will remember that my experience in walking through adversity may benefit another member. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. The full message. Many of us, we, we probably, if we're being completely honest about our shares, we probably aren't thinking about the newcomer being the most important person at any meeting the majority of the time. I think that our shares do embrace the newcomer, especially if we're doing a step one, right? Welcoming a newcomer. We think about them as we're sharing. But I think it's become quite rote. It's natural for us to talk about whatever it is we're going through. Not necessarily with it in mind, I need to carry this message to the newcomer. We need to carry a message of recovery, period. Whether it's for the newcomer or an old timer or anyone in between. That's our intent is to carry the NA message that any addict can stop using, lose the desire to use and find a new way to live. And many times when we're actually sharing, we're not necessarily thinking about the newcomer. We're thinking about this experience that we're going through and how we're going to stay clean through it and relieving some of the pain that we're going through. Now, not every meeting do we show up at. Are we actually going through anything or we may not even share all the time. But a lot of times, I think that we just share where we're at. And those that are meant to be benefit from it will benefit from it. Today, I want to encourage you, if you're one of those individuals that always is sharing, remembering the newcomer, right? Because they are the most important person at any meeting, right? We want them to get the message. But if you are a person that you always mold everything that you share towards the newcomer, I give you permission to stop. I give you permission to go ahead and start sharing exactly where you're at 
And if you share the problem with the solution and incorporate the spiritual principles that you sense are needed in order to get through that situation, if the newcomer is there and they're listening, they're also going to benefit. My name is Mighty Stream, and I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope you have a beautiful day on purpose, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.